What if one day your brain started changing and you couldn't stop it? You're still you, but the way you move, think, feel, and even relate to others starts shifting. That's what happens with brain injuries or diseases like Parkinson's and dementia. And the toughest part? Often the person going through it doesn't see it coming until something breaks through, loud and clear. Let's talk about what's happening under the surface. Your brain has all these incredible areas. Your frontal lobe helps you plan and socialize. Your cerebellum controls movement and balance. And your limbic system handles mood and emotion. But when injury or illness hits, like a traumatic brain injury or Parkinson's, it can slowly chip away at those systems. You may start missing cues, feeling off balance, or losing your cool when you used to be calm. In Rob's case, he was 34 when he started noticing tremors and balance issues. Incredibly, 12 years after his series of brain injuries while serving his country. But he pushed through, he brushed it off. But the moment that really hit, it was a casual volleyball game with the team. He fell, got up, fell again. Everyone stared. Someone even asked if he'd been drinking. That's when the shift happened, not just in his balance, but in how people saw him. Suddenly, the guy who carried the gear, climbed ladders, saved lives, now needed help carrying his own bags. His teammates started watching out for him instead of watching with him. And once that happens, you don't ever feel quite the same. Then came another shift. A few years later, Rob went to his department's doctor expressing what was happening. She examined him and diagnosed him with young onset Parkinson's, and she didn't feel he was safe performing his duties. That changed everything. The department said, we can't let you go out on calls if your own doctor says you shouldn't. So just like that, they sent him home. When your brain changes, your world changes, and so does your role in it. That shift is emotional, it's real, and it affects everyone. Not just the person with the diagnosis, but their whole circle. This isn't a story about giving up. It's not over. It's about understanding, grace, and the fierce adaptability of the human spirit. Stick with us and be kind to your brain. It's doing its best.